Von Newton. I do play it, I try to play 60 frames per second. It shows about 45 right now. Yeah, Von Newton, you gotta... I'll read that link that you sent me, but one of these days we gotta go through and try to optimize this this stream. But we might want to wait till I get a 1080. Because if I could go... I have a I have a very strong suspicion that it uses a lot of the CPU to play Fallout, and it shouldn't use any of the CPU to process streaming when I have a humongous GPU, but... That's what happens, I guess. Uh, no. Uh, fucking no. I guess I wasn't near it yet. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty proud of these supply lines. They don't cross over at all anywhere. Video of getting you a hidden room outside of Diamond City. Explains the jet thing. Yeah, Thursday stream is a go. Friday, probably not. Um, Friday and Saturday and maybe all of Sunday I'll be moving. So, we'll do, yeah, we'll definitely do a stream on Thursday. Tomorrow I'm going to help destroy what shit we don't want to move into the new place. And then Thursday I'll be back doing this, and then Friday we'll probably be off, so. Enjoy, enjoy, I'll follow that instruction set and try to get it working before before the next stream. But one thing that I really need to do is make sure that my internet is going to be all the way hooked up at the time we go and set up, you know, the new place or whatever. <laughs> I think that might have been part of the problem. Was I think when they're when they're stunned, and it also might be that the, the visor effect is fucking up the energy damage. That the visor effect and the energy damage effect aren't doing the same thing. They're like overlapping on top of each other. Send you the bird couch. Madison is giving the bird couch to Summer Haze. Remember the Sonic Two streamer that I, or the Sonic Three uh, streamer that I introduced you guys to. He is apparently inheriting the bird couch, so. Too bad. Too bad for everyone. Everyone in the world. But yeah, that thing is that thing is very kitschy. It would be it would fit right in in some hipster boutique, but as far as the respectable citizens that Elena and I would like to be, we're probably gonna get some fresh shit that matches, you know. your mom. Hmm. Sheila's sick. Samson, it's Sheila. Mama fell. Shut up, bitch. God, can you imagine the... Oh, You're god damn it. There. Fucking rust devils. Fight with each other. Good, good. Now that I've told them to fight each other, I probably should have. I probably should have. them all at once so that I could have gotten the experience for the whole fight. I 
think my chat maybe is frozen. Because I, the last thing I saw was send me that old lady couch, though. If you guys said something to me, then you'll have to repeat it. God damn. I remember troweling this fucking area for that mailbox. That was one of my last proud moments. Oh, you guys are just quiet. Okay. I was worried about you. You don't wear my guts around you. I hope that's something that never happens to me. I like that everywhere I go, it just blows the fuck up. You'll take the cat. You can't have my cat. That's my cat, man. Hey, bottle. Oh. Why does it sound like there's two dogs? One inside and one outside of the Who's there? Caravan or raider? I'm here on I'm my here own. On my own. Freelance. Well, I'm not on my own. There's an alpha feral mongrel following me, but uh, I assume that once he comes into what? Bunker Let's Hill, see. you're all gonna fuck the shit out of him. I forgot we came in here once, but we were coming to the back. Cricket. <coughs> Lovely so to see you. In so little time. You just gotta buy them. Oh, actually. Cricket. Got a hankering for melting face? I've got a few minutes to browse. And there they are. I mean, I assume she has some fusion cores, yeah. So we're gonna need to offload all this shit. That's bad, 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 bad. Hmm. I suppose there's no reason not to hawk the, uh... Cybernetic shit. I'm just curious, is that too much shit for you to even sell me? Five fusion cores and be over the top. It is. That's pretty crazy. Guess I'll take that lead. Oh, I love cricket. What's up, Josie Klein? How you doing? Fucking arms are both broken and my legs are real sore, huh? I just wanted to send this fucking ship flying since I can. And then go save somewhere. I'll have to fix my armor later, probably. What would be a decent survival build? That link that I just posted you there is a research paper that I wrote on the build that I made for the permadeath survival run. Which went swimmingly, by the way. The most damage that got done 
was to myself. Like, damage that I did to myself with, with the gun. Um, so, yeah, Bong Lord Nito, if you want... Oh, fuck, I should put just the actual build up. So that people don't have to, uh... People don't have to read a ten-page paper, they can just follow the instructions. What do I gotta do? Talk to the bosun? I think you have to talk to Mr. Navigator. Will you fuck off? Hey, Navigator. Light speed. Zero. Oh, maybe I just jam it into the hole here somewhere. Yeah, sometimes... Sometimes you can have weird random encounters with caravans in, like, places you wouldn't expect. There's a magazine in here, you know. There it is. I can use that bed. But we may as well... May as well send this ship a flying. I thought you'd see more than one full Fallout playthrough. There's a b bunch of Fallout playthroughs on there. Yeah, that's, that's the new Kotaku article. The first one that was written about the no-kill run. Um, if you're gonna watch a no-kill run, watch Captain the Bernie Ironside. Sanders one. It's got a little bit, it makes a little bit more sense, and it, it doesn't use quick saves and other kind of sketchy bullshit. Are you gonna fucking let me launch this goddamn thing, or what? I don't think you can consider a ship... I think you can consider a ship that um, hasn't been a virgin since, I don't know, the, the 1700s, a, ver a maiden voyage. Are you still trying to hurt me? I think if the wait till this light goes off. No, Grandma Reddit. Grandma Reddit is mine. Grandma Reddit is, um. Also, a Fallout New Vegas playthrough as well. There's what is the new Ve New Vegas playthrough where she uses she has over 800 rads at all times, and she also has. Um, They also have, uh, yeah, the Fallout one. That's just normal. That just uses explosives only and also only uses the dog. I think you can actually fail this mission. If the scavengers board enough. Which ones uh, are not in? Are not in the uh which, which um 
Yeah, which videos are not in a playlist? Defending the Constitution. I thought they were all in a playlist already. I do need to go over there to come back up. Maybe not. Maybe they're down. Take him to lower deck! Middle deck! Prepare yourself! Insomnia and lethargy. Okay, that's not a big deal then. God damn it, does it ever stop cranking out scavengers? Is in progress. Citizens are advised to Yeah, it's late as fuck. I'd like to stop at some point. I feel like this is this quest is over. Why the fuck is it still generating dudes? Yeah, I gotta go at some point too. But thanks for hanging out, Ever Meadow. Let's see. The next point of shit that we need is. Level 39, I think, so we'll keep working our way towards uh, Ricochet. 
Yeah, it still says defend the USS Constitution. Shitty. Gotta finish this goddamn quest so that I could save. Buddy, I did it. Captain Ironsides. The borders are repelled. All hands, prepare ship for launch. All right. The Do your thing. Repelled. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Hey, Captain. The borders are repelled. I know. All hands, prepare ship for launch. The borders are repelled. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Yeah, we've been having a lot of these the lately. Are repelled. All hands, prepare ship. Hey, Captain. The borders are repelled. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Oh, I see. Well, let's go downstairs and fucking save in that bed. And then that'll be it. Because my shit is fucked up at this point. Unless there's still dudes down here, and that's why the game won't let me launch. It would seem to me that we killed the ever loving shit out of everybody, but. It is an honor to crew such a story vessel. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh boy, oh boy. So here's what's going on with this character. We we were having a little bit of trouble with uh, this quest, but we're, I think we're done now. But Ironsides would not fucking, not fucking continue the quest. It's an honor to crew such a story. We had both of our <laughs> arms broken here, but... We appreciated your crash core, crash course in advanced play. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting work there. The guy, the guy who wants to tell me that idiot savant is a waste of a perk. I'm like, dude, you should watch the playthrough. We sp we put nine points into agility and then another three into sneak before I realized that I was never going to need any of that shit. <clears throat> yeah, we've had a lot of problems with the, the quests in this build. Deacon, too, couldn't fucking fathom that I would maybe want to actually help him do Lexington. Because of the constant fights that we kept getting into over there, but... Yeah, we were... Our fucking armor is broken as shit. If if he won't talk to me, then we'll just go do something else. The borders are repelled. All hands, oh, good. prepare ship for launch. Congratulations, Captain. There is what We need power. Consider it done. I admire your pluck. Here is your Cool wrap thing. So yeah, I forgot he gives me this fucking thing. Um Let's see here. Where is the auxiliary power? I guess it's in this building over here. What the fuck are you doing, man? Field is ours. Until the next time. Nothing! Nothing! 
Yeah, you did. Yeah, that that guy is that guy is pretty funny, but it's it's always ridiculous to me when people are like, "Hey, man, you know you could do shit like way different and much better." You know, I'm like, "Fuck, man! Yeah, if I was gonna do that playthrough again, I would do it differently. I I admit it." But you know, the thing is, you you still could work around fucking up if you had to. You know. Let's see. Oh, here's here we go. And that's that's what I did do. I was like, the important thing is that I was. I was like, the important thing is that I got fucking done. You know, that I finished it before anybody else in both of the survivals. If I was so bad at it, how the fuck did I do it so, so fast? Because compared to everybody else. I did see a guy who was doing a full broadsider playthrough. At least that's what he said. But when I went and looked at it, it looked like he was only using it... He was only using it, like, when he had cannonballs, and otherwise he was just using a melee weapon. I was like, this is... A this isn't the thing you say it is. I love that he could just land and then sail around. But because they're robots, the, the only thing they can think to do is do a straight line. I know his The thing that the thing that really bummed me out about the guy was that yeah, for him, it, he was talking about, oh yeah, no, you you have your you, your basic play where you're using it as a bomb, but that just stops being beneficial later on because you go up to Intelligence 6 or whatever. I'm like, it never stops being beneficial. Do you understand? Like, I have so, so little experience in this game. It's one of two ways to modify your experience. To, to give yourself a boost. And the other way is this obscure squirrel stew recipe that I never make. Alright, let's see. What do we got to do here? Um, is there a way to be on the ship with them when they fly off? You have to flip that switch, probably just to make it so that that doesn't happen to you. I assume that what would happen if you got on the ship is that occasionally the game would fucking lose its shit and you'd fall through the floor and die. Where... Well, let's see. Where do we want to go here? We need to fix our armor post-haste. And I don't really have... I don't have... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't have the ability to make the armor stations. I could go to um, Diamond City to do it, but I probably wouldn't have enough re resources to repair it all. Probably the thing to do is to go back up here, do this repair, and then go back down and do a uh, deacon. So hopefully we have, hopefully we have enough here that we can make it work. Enough armor, because we're almost, you know, almost completely gone. Yeah, I, I guess I need more learning, as I guess, as far as Fallout 4 is concerned. I just don't know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just demonstrating intermediate play. I don't understand advanced play. I'm like, come on, man. The only thing that affects how well you pacify people beyond not taking Black Widow is your level, as compared to the level of the enemies. He's like... If you get too high a level, they're they're too strong for you to be able to, to kill. And I'm just like, I don't kill them, and neither do you. You know what I mean? You 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 need to have a high level to be able to pacify dudes that are far farther down the thing. Plus, the enemies scale with you a little, but they don't scale with you a ton. Enemies that are down towards the south end of the map are always higher level than the enemies that are on the upper end of the map. So it doesn't even make sense, you know, as far as that goes. If I could do a level one playthrough on this game and and have it have the levels, oh, I don't think this is. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I don't think this is how it's supposed to go, but 
I guess this suicider killed himself and his dog in that raider, and it was all worth it. Yeah, I guess I could do that, but I, I need to go up there for Deacon anyway, so I may as well just work my way up there. 